gonna take a shower because I look like absolute dog crap. I have not showered in a couple days because when you're a mom, sometimes you just don't have time to shower when you're trying to get other things accomplished. But after I shower, my goals for today is to really clean this house. Like I have a mountain of laundry to do. It's ridiculous. super crusty today has like not went as i planned at all i was like trying to get everything together to take a shower like a stander in the bathroom and stuff he was not having it he was hungry so he wanted a bottle so i gave him a bottle he fell asleep on top of me we cuddled for like an hour and then my pump alarm went off like 20 minutes ago and i looked over at him i'm like you need to go nap on your own so i put him in a swing that's like still in the living room he's still snoozing so I need to go ahead and pump. Watch, you wanna go like this? Whoa! Look, empty basket! Whoop. It's a basket! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Paige. Today's video is gonna be me needing to be productive. I have had such a lazy morning so far. I did my makeup in hopes that it would like get me off my butt and make me be productive. And then I sat on TikTok for like a half an hour making dumb TikToks. If y'all wanna follow me over there, I'll leave the link in the bio. I'll also pop up like my username. I just make really stupid stay at home mom TikToks. <laughs> So I finished doing the dishes. Finally, it felt like it took forever. I hate not having a dishwasher because washing everything by hand is literally like so old school, it sucks. I put all of his bottles on a soak with like extra hot water, lots of soap in the sink. I'm gonna let that soak for a little bit because Fisher is a little bit fussy. He is currently having his lunch time. I'm not quite hungry yet, so I'll probably eat like when he goes down for a nap after I do my pump in a little bit. I still haven't pumped yet. This is why I get mastitis like every couple months is because I just can never find time to pump. So for lunch today, he's currently eating some right now. He's having these little crunches. It's a garden tomato. They're pretty much like Cheetos for babies. He loves these because it makes him feel like he's having like the food that we have. Um, and then I yesterday, I made these little broccoli patties. I blended broccoli. It has one egg, breadcrumbs, mozzarella cheese, and then I put pepper in it. I smushed it up into little patties, and then I did it on each side for a couple minutes into like, you know, hamburger patties, but it's just like broccoli. Um, so I heated them up in the microwave. As soon as he finishes his Cheetos, they'll be cooled off enough and I'll give it to him in like little pieces, probably like half the size of this because he's really bad at shoving everything in his mouth and not chewing it and I have to like fish it out with my finger. Mmm. All right, so you get to try your little broccoli patties. Try two pieces and we'll see if you like them. Hey, thanks, whoops. 
Mm, if you like those, I'll have to make that more often because it was so easy. I made those just for you. Oh, maybe we should finish what's in our mouth first. Is that okay if you finish what's in your mouth? You gotta chew, chew, chew. You want to try it? <gasps> Good boy, put it in your mouth. Oh, nice. Now you gotta chew, chew, chew. Gonna give him like a piece about this big. Here you go, sweetie. Honestly, let's try it. Honestly, it's good. I'm gonna show you guys the real baby lead weighing it. All right, can you get it out of your mouth? That's how you have to get it out. It's right there, let me get it out for you. Oh, yucky. You need to eat food. You want a strawberry, your favorite? Here. Here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Patties I made, he just was not chewing it. I tried to sit there and like show him how to do it. I don't know. Leave any suggestions for baby lead weaning, any links to any good videos below, any advice you can give, any recipes that like a baby who doesn't really like to chew, but likes to pick things up and bring it to the mouth would like. I would love any advice. Let me know what I'm doing wrong and what I need to do different because I will take any advice I can get because I want him to succeed and like really like food. And I want him to be able to eat the things that my husband and I eat. It's now 3.30. I should have pumped twice by now. Fisher always comes first before anything. So by the time we finish lunch, I gave him both the boobs afterwards because he wanted some boob. I was hoping he would fall asleep on the boob, but he did not. He's wide awake in his rounder. I made two small PB&Js, no crust. I also have for my lunch, I know it's like not that healthy, little bites. I literally have four bags of chips in there that I need to eat before this one, but I'm not in the mood for any of those. before he took a nap he drank like half of it and then he fell asleep and he was napping maybe 20 minutes so now little man is gonna have a little snack so i can finish what you want these I need to wash these the rest of these bottles and i've been having to stop every five minutes because he's been crying all right well it's not dinner time yet it's only 5 30. Personally, can't have banana. I'm like slightly allergic to it, but I think Fisher can have it. He hasn't had any reaction to the banana yet. So I have two frozen pops that I use. This one is not my favorite. It's mesh. I think we got it off Amazon. Not my favorite. It's hard to clean when you clean it. You really have to scrub it. I feel like soap might have an easier time getting stuck in the mesh. Then when he like eats all the insides, it just like flattens out and gets wet and not the best and but i still use it anyways so obviously i'm not just gonna waste it and then this one is my top favorite i think it's like 3.99 at tj maxx but it's so nice because you, you still have some banana this one's really nice because when he eats the insides it doesn't get all nasty it's easier to clean it has the holes this one's definitely where it's at we're gonna stuff these with some banana and pop them in the freezer stuff these so you unscrew this stuff it with banana make sure it goes all the way in just screw this part on and it pushes like obviously extra stuff out of there but it's okay we're gonna scrape it up then you literally just put this on it, pop it in the freezer, and then freeze it for a couple hours. Even though it's not my favorite, it still gets the job done. What are you doing? 
doing? What are you doing? He's watering the flowers and my husband pulled up from work. <laughs> And then I just watered the flowers, so I'll give you guys a look how the flowers are doing. Flowers are doing great. This one, my favorite one, I don't know if like a bug's eating it or it's getting too much sunlight. Let me know in the comments below like how to bring this plant back to life. Those are doing really great. We're having, I don't know if those are weeds, but those are like growing really long like up the tree. This weekend I need to give this some like TLC, maybe plant some new flowers and plants, get all the weeds and the sticks picked up. And over here we have some little cactuses blooming. So we'll have to pick those up and put them in the cactus pile this weekend as well. To cook Southwest chicken tonight. I wanna to show y'all the recipe. He's trying to drive the truck. Go ahead. Yeah, look. He's really small for it, but he's trying. Oh, he's trying to pull himself up. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, he almost did it. He's a good boy. He tries. Look at him. He's doing good. He says, when are you gonna buy me a truck, Dada? No, two over there, bro. The main seasonings I like to use for the Southwest, paprika, cumin, garlic, salt, pepper. We have fresh tomato, jalapenos, white onion salsa mexican cheese a can of green chilies can of diced tomato green chilies black beans and corn and then we're gonna layer it Southwest before it goes in the oven, we do 350 for 45 minutes, and then we'll cook white rice when there's 20 minutes left on the clock. cheese on top so it has more of a hard layer but it still looks yummy we're about to watch one of our current favorite shows we have public sweet tea and that'll be it for today's video thanks for watching y'all make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos by me well thanks for watching the video and i'll see you next time